I think I'm right back at the truck in the beginning now, so we'll turn right and there's going to be that barricaded door. A bitch. An absolute bitch. Hello everybody, welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I'm the Great Leveler, and yes, we're still playing the short message, which is sat, sat, a Silent Hill game. It's not a Silent Hill game. It's not a it's not a scary game. I like some of the design choices. That I like the kind of connections they've got to Silent Hill, but it's not a Silent Hill game. The monster that's chasing me, um, I like the design, and there are moments that's getting me a little bit who. Now again, I'm doing this intro like i did with the last intro just like halfway through my video video randomly because they're going on it's going on for so long so i'm currently um if it, you're not really out but getting chased endlessly by this damn thing and i'm getting really really annoyed so uh i hope you're enjoying the episodes i hope you're enjoying the series let's crack on And I guess we're now in chapter three. Oh, wait, this is a lot different. Starting location. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you, you tried that once before and this happened. Hands do look weird though, that thumb just not right. That's cool. I like that. Oh my god, find it. What? Yeah, where's, my, where's the body gone? There's, there's a body here a minute ago. Mm. Well, my, is this supposed to be a nod to the hole inside Hill 4, maybe? I ended up in the roof of the villa, couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped for her death last year. Actually, lots of girls kill themselves here. All teams suppose and as a place. Famous spot for people to kill themselves. Hooray, looking down from the roof, I can see a high above, blah, 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 blah. Uh, God. Um, don't you dare go outside. Don't you dare go outside. I'm gonna. I don't give a damn what you say. I think it'd be more scary if um, the cherry blossom thing wasn't just like a chase section, but like there was a way to like hide and evade. Just because I, I'm not really, it's only really making me jump when I just suddenly appear somewhere I wasn't anticipating it. Mm. At least this is a little bit different now as well. No exit. No, something. The, si Ooh, the Silent Hill phenomenon, finally, a connection, he says. The suicide rate has increased around the world, in large part due to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has become known this has come, sorry, to be known as the Silent Hill Phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an eponymous, I don't know how to pronounce that word, US town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. Triple X, a social psychologist at Triple X University, who had the following to say on the matter. Um, to one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunnelled as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. Triple X 
calls for rapid rebuilding of society as well as strong emphasis on counseling mental health. Uh, that's how they're trying to tie into Santa Hill. That still doesn't make a damn bit of sense to me. Yeah, I'm not going through any of these doors. I'm going to this nice bright thing over here. Ooh, my pad sucks. It's vibrate. Here. Oh, good. We're gonna see the this bitch stepmom. Living room. I finally lost touch with her. I'll never see him again. Sorry. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels, who light up my life. So that's that's her mom. Okay. So was she actually abusive? Oh, hang on. Oh, we're doing the PT loop and each time's gonna be a bit further on and we're gonna see it. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Yep, so she's gone from, I, I love my kitties, blah, 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 to now they're a burden and oh, everything's so much harder. Look at how everything's kind of, not, kind of slipped into disrespect. Here we go. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza, already a winner. Children definitely need a father, but they won't take to him. He looked annoyed way left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realise he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. Oh, different location. We're not going to loop de loop. Is my character smaller as well? Is this to show my like, adolescence? Definitely feels small. I'm giving up my life for you. Yep. Yeah, I feel like a child because I can't even see the mirror. He showed up again with a smile on, a on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though she's extremely picky. I can relate to that. I wish I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know it, I was forced to eat things I ate when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and he just wants to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with him. We need to have a happy life. I need them to realise that I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. It's worrying. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with him? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Wow. Mother of the year. Oh my days. Yep, that one's definitely moving. That one there. Oh, no, that one's moving as well. Okay, mm, getting out of that. Oh, so much reading. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids, so he brought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I've got energy. I got contracted, contacted sorry, by the Child Welfare Centre. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building Report hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? If I had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. Oh dear. Okay, that's concerning. So it's not even the closet. They put him in the damn fridge now. Miss Krista Planner, we have reached out to you repeat repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying the issue. You are violating of German civil code article. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's up to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. And this is the closet. 
Okay. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. The boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41 year old mother, person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked his son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. When and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to this investigation, person A's daughter ran to the neighbor's house to call police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator, arrested the mother, and she confessed to the crime. I mean, yeah, that would be traumatic. But the acting still just really cool. There's literally nothing scary about this. Cherry blossom outside. Because you cursed, you said it. so hard to forget this place. <sighs> yes, I'm doing that. Oh, good. Do we get to run again? Can I run? Oh, I can. Great. Oh, good. Dead end. Hi. So is this a friend or is this actually a mom then that's chasing me? So don't turn right, turn left. Oh my god! God damn it! It's not even the dead, it's about that. We do it all again. I don't even know how long these videos are going on for. I'm trying to... Whoa, that is kind of spooky. Uh, again, that's what I mean. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. It's just complete and utter guesswork. And wishful thinking. Oh my freaking days. Oh 
Get away from me, you bitch. Okay, this feels different, though. No, it doesn't. What we got that I'm saying. That's what I mean, but now I'm so turned around, I couldn't even tell you where I'm supposed to be going. I think I'm right back at the trip in the beginning now, so we're turn right, and there's going to be that barricaded door. A bitch. An absolute bitch. I must admit, a little bit, I am getting a little bit, a few little goosebumps on my leg, but that's not a bad, it's not a good thing. But I am determined to get this done in two videos. I'm not no doing a third. God, I didn't even get to open the door this time. There's nothing there. I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going. It all looks the same. Ooh, this looks slightly different. Is it? But I think I'm on the right path, and she suddenly just appears in front of me. No reason. Ooh, table. Oh my god. What's that? Oh. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be collecting things? Is this it? Is this the ending now? We've got to pick up. Am I just going to be getting chased the whole time? And I've got to try and find, find things to pick up? I don't even know. I am all lost. What are you hiding inside? Is that, I can't even tell what room that's supposed to be. See where I'm going. How many of these things are I just don't know. I'm freaking paranoid in all honesty. I do feel like I'm making a little bit of progress. This is it. I can hear her. So I know she's freaking here. So I've not even got like a time to think or investigate because I'm just being constantly pursued. These earphones are kind of good for tracking down things a little bit. Art, right? You could audit an art class. Okay. Okay, that's sounding calmer. I think, feel like I can get my breath a little bit now. Nope, nope, definitely can't. Still being chased. Am I? Yep, yep, definitely still getting chased. That's... Mm.
But literally, as oh, as I've already mentioned, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, what my goal is, what am I trying to achieve. So freaking bored. So bored. Amelie. Maya. So what else might have I missed? Oh, so this time she's behind me. He definitely wants me to go to the chain door, but have I have I unlocked everything to get in the chain door? Who the hell knows? Because I haven't even got a chance to check anything. All I know is I'm getting pursued endlessly. Oh! So the chains are disappearing. Okay. But this is again, I'm having to try and remember everywhere I've been and retrace my steps every time I die. But at least now I've got a better clue as to what my goal is. But like I said, it's all happening so goddamn fast. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. So I've got at least one, possibly two more things to find. And this is what I mean, if I get caught again, I've got to do it all again. How is that fair? How is that fun? Yep, so they're definitely... Shit. 100% piece of shit. The fact that every time I go back in, I've got to find those pieces again and I've tried to memorize the route when I've been pursued at all times is ridiculous. Okay, so at least now I know what I'm doing. But finding it is really difficult. Because everything looks the same. Because, again, because it's such a rush, because I'm having to just flee constantly. I really like what you're doing, baby. Well, I find them at one point, but then the next time I start, I've forgotten where everything was. So it's like starting from scratch again, it's just mindlessly running. You're into art, right? You could audit an art class. And the fact that it's just a relentless pursuit is, like I said, really frustrating. It would make a lot more sense to give me just a little bit of breathing space. There should be a way to counter this monster, either to learn her, learn its patterns, or... Oh, hang on. I feel it. No, oh, I always go that way. Yep, we're going that way. We're going this way. Go out of here, turn left. And I just got to try and learn the room. Which is easier said than done. Come on, let's... Yep, there she is. Okay, that's fine. Well, at least now we know she is. I can't even tell how fast she is, because sometimes it feels like she's right behind me, and the next minute I'm miles away from her. I don't feel like I've done enough to get away from her. 
Come on, open the fucking door. I just wish I could take my time and really learn the roots, but I can't. Let's go this way. Okay, starting to learn the route a little bit, but I shouldn't have to keep dying. I shouldn't have to keep redoing the same section over and over and over again. Because it's really not fun. I'm going that way, okay, I'm going this way. She definitely teleported. She definitely, definitely teleports, unless it's Tuna. And if that's the case, then that's really not fair. Maybe the phone's a bit of a clue? It feels like the locker one. But I'm like I said, I'm having to run that fast and not really being able to take it. Right, there's one more. I'm just gonna have to let it come to me. Which way you going? You went right, okay, I'm going left. But I still don't know what I'm looking for. I feel like I've found all the ones I'm used to. Oh, I can look behind me? This whole time I've been able to look behind me? Oh, You're way too hard on yourself. oh my god, the door's open. Okay, so the good news is, I've unlocked the door. The bad news is, I need to find my way back to the door. Okay, so this is a bit of a game changer now that I know from up behind me. So this has changed right now that I've got all the pictures, so hopefully I can just get there. No issue, I'm here, aren't I? Oh god, I was about ready to give up on this. I really was. Am I gonna be alone? Well, no, you're not alone forever. There's something chasing you that seems quite insistent on uh, being friends with you. So we're back here, so we must be we must be at the end now. This must be it. It's gotta be it. That was so annoying. Very between first, I've really been absorbed in my work Re lately. I'm assuming there's gonna be another oh sorry, let me sit up a little bit. I'm assuming there's gonna be another picture next to our meal. And you watch it be Anita. Sorry, I've decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think they might finally be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crown achievement. Once it's done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Hmm. Oh no, it's just one person in the picture still. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti artist C.B. Mayo Akko Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Ketterstad. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18 year old girl comes as a shock not only to the local community members, but also to the, all those who were familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and <gasps> proceeding with a full scale investigation. She killed herself half a year ago. Half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time. Apparently, I guess, does it? But it would 
take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Hmm. Yep, 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 we know that, we know the boy. Is this... me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? So were you not really alone, but you just felt slow. So she did notice me. I mean, the animation does does look good. Like when you look at all the paws and stuff. Well, the graphics look good, but the animation still just. It's just. It's just. It's just not very promising sign to the Silent Hill revival. Oh, I read that. Do we leave now? So did she die or was she pushed up? Oh, we got something. This is a little different. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. This is that. Well, this is that. This is different. I like this. This is finally something a little bit interesting. I could have had a different life too. I guess someone finally did love me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Yep. I'm so puzzled, though. So puzzled. What should I do? Where are we going now? The candles are... And, oh, no. There they are. There's them. Ah, the rooftop! Oh, again. But this is it. There's only three chapters in this. Thank freak there was only three chapters. I'm glad I didn't pay any money for this. This is a good painting, though. I do like it. Jump off again. You were always there for me. I'm I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait, Anita, calm down. Just listen to me. Is Maya gonna stop her from jumping?
again, this skin animation, the graphics look great, but everything else, just the, the, the facial capture, the cloth mat, it just looks poor. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals oh my God. Shut up. Just shut up. Alone Just shut up. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For I've never those listened to that love. message when I first. And for those who love Has it changed them from the beginning, or, or did I just not understand it? Forward and never look back to 18 year old me. So, yes, yeah, slightly different. <sighs> oh, the mural got finished. I guess. Hooray. Yay. Right, let, let's try let's try and focus on some positives first off. So the location design was not bad at all. Uh graphically it looked nice. There was some real interesting uh locations. The the final chapter did have did start to feel very silent hill like in terms of the metal and the rust and whatnot. I, and I do quite like the concept of the monster that chased you, but it wasn't very scary. I like the design element to it. Uh, some of the some of the design was a little unsettling, but I was never scared of it. I was more sometimes maybe jump, but I was more frustrated that I kept having to restart because it would just suddenly appear. And I can't believe I finally found out that I could look behind me after it stopped chasing me. Not that I think that would have suddenly just made it an easier um, an easier game. But <sighs> I, I wanted to really like this. I heard a lot of people on social media dissing it and I don't like to diss it. A lot of people have worked hard to put this game together and I don't want it to be a, you know, I don't, just because you don't like something doesn't mean that you get to ridicule the people who made it. So I don't want to really do that. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to just defend the game for the sake of it. I don't think it was a very good game. I think it had, I think it had potential. But I honestly, the, the fact they tried to even tie it into Silent Hill. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I feel like it was just something that someone had started and they just tried to kind of give it a little bit more of a head start by making it tie into Silent Hill because it doesn't. It's ridiculous. A ridiculous thing to try and connect the two. Um, so yeah, overall, pfft, I'm just glad I didn't pay any money for it. I'm glad it's just a freebie. Um, but there's nothing to it. There's absolutely nothing to it. Absolutely just dull. Uh, the story didn't really make any sense. And I didn't feel anything for any of the characters. The, the performances were just weak. Um, again, whether that was the direction they were given, I don't know. Just, just, just a waste of my time. I'm glad I've done it. I'm glad I've seen it for myself and made my own conclusion. What do you guys think to this? Do you think it was as bad as I thought it was? Or do you have some insight and say, actually, I didn't, you didn't understand the message? Which I feel like I did understand the message. But maybe this is just something that just went over my head. Uh, I don't know. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll see you all on the next episode, which will be coming very soon. Bye.